What's up YouTube? It is Kylie Martin here and we are back again today with another how-to video. You guys already saw that thumbnail. We are going to be learning how to put pedals on our bike here today. Okay guys, if you guys have been staying up to date on the Supercross website here and all of our socials, then you know that we have partnered up with Yoshimura for the rest of the 2024 season. And with that, we have some sick pedal combos up. Make sure to go check the site. So today, you guys already know, we're going to be putting together a pair of Yoshimura pedals and putting them on the bike along with taking off the pedals that we already have. So let's get to it. All right guys, so first things first here, what we're gonna wanna do is take off our existing pedals. So with that being said, we're gonna have our bike flipped upside down and you're gonna wanna grab a pedal wrench. I'm using the Park Tools PW5, super great. That's what my dad's always used over the years on my bikes was always Park Tool and Obviously, you need a pedal wrench to take off pedals, so that's what we're using. So what we're gonna wanna do here, and I know you guys may be wondering why is it not in a stand right now because we're doing bike work. I promise you I have reasoning to this, okay? Correction, my dad had reasoning to this. <laughs> so you're gonna go ahead, have it upside down. You're gonna take your wrench just like so, put it right here, and what you're gonna do is push your wrench towards the front of the bike because it's upside down so you're not going backwards. You're pushing it towards the front of the bike and you're gonna get on the other side because your pedal should be tight and you're gonna put leverage down on your other pedal. So you're gonna stand on it right there so that the bike doesn't move and then you're going to go forward with it. So see, even with me standing on it, it still was a bit gnarly. So then you don't wanna loosen it all the way because then you won't have leverage for the other side. So you just barely loosen it to break that seal there. Then you're going to get on the other side like so, go here, pull towards the front of the bike, and it'll break loose just like that. Then afterward, you can get down and just hand loosen it. Not hand loosen it, but you don't need to be on top of the bike for this part. You can just kind of get through it, and then you can hand loosen it once you get to a good point. All right guys, we have the pedals off. Now we gotta go and put together our Yoshimura so that we're able to slap them on this thing now that it is all ready to be pedaled up. All right guys, so now that we have the pedals all off, depending on who you order from, you may have to put the pins in yourself. That's where this little bag comes in. It has the Allen wrench. It's a super easy process, so don't even worry about it in the event that you have to assemble them yourself because you have this handy dandy video to come look at. So. Then you're gonna have your actual pedal box itself because obviously the pedals weren't in that. They're gonna have these cute little tabs right here that say lift to open, which is what we're going to do. Set the pins down real quick. You're gonna open them up and here are your pedals all ready to go. I almost dropped them there. <laughs> but your pedals are all ready to go here. What you're gonna do, take them out of the box obviously, open up that tab on that side, pull this up, grab the end, pull it out. And there you go. Here is the Yoshimura itself. That's where this pack is going to come in handy now to add the color that you guys all know and love. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do real quick. For me, when I'm doing this, I found that it's best if I'm not like on a flat surface. Like right now, I'm sitting in a chair. So if you find yourself in a pinch, you're on a car ride to a national, state race, local, whatever, and you got to put your pedals together, use the box to your advantage, guys. Go ahead, dump all your pins inside of the box. Just like that. And then you're gonna, almost dropped one still. You're gonna go ahead, put this on your Allen. You can see it has the little end right there that matches up with your Allen. Put it on the Allen, just like so. You're gonna hold it here. And with the Yoshimiras, you have to remember, cause I don't know if you guys can tell with the shadowing right now, but this one is on the top and this one is on the bottom. So they're gonna flip back and forth. And basically what you're gonna wanna do is make sure that the pin is going up through the pedal. So with that all the ones that are up right now we're going to be putting on on the ones that are underneath and i'll explain in a second here i promise there's a method to this madness so you're going to go ahead quick little tighten it in i dropped that but it's fine so you can see that the top on this one is facing upward on the bottom one so that your pin will stick out on the top when it matches up with the top part that's what's going to give you that grip that you're able to go ahead and really hook onto the pedal for. So, I grab my Allen, now that it's away. Okay, but like I was saying, everything that is, it's hard to explain in a way, that's why I'm kind of trying to show it. You can see more right here. It goes underneath, which is why you wanna have the top 
facing up because you're not gripping there. Your shoe's not gonna go on top of that. So moral of the story is you want all of your pins to be able to touch your foot. So here, we'll go on the outside on this one because this one you can just see a little bit better. So see how it drops in right there? That is where the bottom is gonna go. So what you're screwing in is gonna go on top of that. So if I can hold on to the Allen this time. The pin is gonna be sitting there because it's underneath. So when you flip it on the top, it's showing up. That way you grip better. That's, that's a little bit of an easier way to kind of demonstrate and show it. Like I said though guys, you wanna make sure that this pin is gonna be on top. Think about where your foot is gonna be gripping. And for me, I learned the hard way because I put one together completely backwards thinking I knew what I was doing. You want to make sure that all the pins are on the top so that you can really get the grip of the full pedal. So we're going to go ahead and put those together real quick. All right guys, pedal number one is done. Here it is. You can see all the gold throughout it. It is beautiful. You guys already know I'm in love with black and gold. That's why my colors are the way they are on my bike, which is why I was so happy when I was able to do black pedals with gold pins. It's adorable, but guys, we have another pedal to do, so let's do it. And just like that, our second pedal is done. Something that I realized that I didn't bring up before to look at would be the fact that everything on the top here is opposite of the bottom here. So to explain that a little bit more, if you look closely here, you'll see that pins are up or holes are up, vice versa, whichever way you wanna look at it. And then down here, it's opposite. So simple way to see this side matches this side and this side matches this side but these two don't match. So it's a diagonal flip across. So if you're ever trying to figure out, did I do this right? Imagine it flipped, folded basically. It's kind of weird to explain, kind of weird to say it, but I hope that you guys understand what I'm throwing down here. Anyways though, let's go ahead. Well, you should, if you did this properly by the end of it, have a couple screws left. I don't know how, you, yeah, you can see them fall a little bit. So what we're gonna wanna do, save those in your bag. Cause I mean, you guys just saw, you're just hand tightening them. It's not like you're really cranking on it, trying to make sure that it's gonna be completely stuck in there for life. You wanna make sure that you're able to take them apart and stuff because much like how you got these gold pins or whatever color pins that you originally got, you might wanna switch them out later on. So it's one of those things where you don't wanna risk stripping the bolts or anything like that. You just kinda of wanna make them snug, make sure that they're there. You're obviously gonna to wanna to upkeep them, make sure that the pins stay in and all that. But in the event that you lose them for whatever reason, you have a couple backups to go to, which is why you wanna keep them all together with your box. Be organized, guys. So we're gonna go ahead, load these up, and then go put these bad boys on. All right, guys, so we have the pedals all good to go and ready. You may be wondering, where's your wrench at? Well, these ones aren't gonna have a flat tab that we can use to really crank down. So what we're gonna do instead is grab our Park Tools size eight Allen wrench here. And if you'll notice here, they fit in just like that. So we're gonna follow that same process, but instead of turning it towards the bike, we're turning it away from the bike now so that we can really tighten it. Something that I love about the Yoshimiras is that if you look here on the very corner of your pedal, you'll know which side's for the right and which side's for the left. That's really important because what's bad about this is if you use the wrong pedal on the wrong side, not only will it be backwards for the font, but you're also gonna ruin your crank arm and probably ruin the threads on both the crank arm and the pedal. So it's one of those things where you wanna be really careful about this and pay very close attention to detail. Something that I like to do whenever I'm doing anything that involves sides and direction is I flip my bike back to its normal state, which would be this. And then you wanna be careful that your screws don't fall out as well and you wanna make sure you're looking for that. So now that I have it like this, I'm gonna see right pedal is gonna go here and our left pedal is gonna go here. 
it's just one of those things where I like to be more safe than sorry, which is why I double, triple check everything because I will never be allowed to touch my bike again in the event that I ruin something to that extent. So you wanna be taking an eye on that. And then, like I said, any screws that kind of fall out or anything in that process, bearings, all of that, you wanna be keeping a close eye on to ensure that you are keeping all your stuff together. Anyways, though now guys, we have our left pedal going on our left side. I always, when I start out, I start out by hand tightening. That way I know that, okay, it's already started and we're good to go. It's gonna slide just like that. That's hand tightened a bit. Then we're gonna go in with our right pedal so that it's no longer on the floor. Same process, hand tighten. There we go. It's having a hard time starting it at first. Hand tighten there though so that that is ready to go. Then we are going to grab our Allen, which my foot was on top of, and taking it from the back side here, we're spinning it towards the back of our bike. You should notice that it is threading in nicely, just snug. We don't need it to be super tight yet. Same thing on the other side. We're gonna insert here and spin towards the back of the bike. It's gonna come closer through as it threads. snug there you go guys you guys can obviously tighten to your desire just make sure that you don't over tighten don't under tighten obviously i mean there's no way that i'm just gonna have these fall off as i'm riding which is why i just snug them up all right guys so that is a wrap on our how to install your pedal videos i'm so excited for what the rest of the season has in store with these bad boys and i hope that you guys all make sure to go get yourself a pair because these are some of the cleanest and most comfortable pedals that i've ever gotten the opportunity to ride on so it's really exciting. You guys already know that you're going to catch me at it. SoCal ripping up on these bad boys in just a couple weeks here. I'm excited though. I hope that you guys all enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will catch you at the next race or ride out.